How you doing today? <coughs> this video is getting about Khabib. <coughs> yes, the GOAT, the Eagle, as we all know him. Khabib, who just actually celebrated his 34th birthday recently. He was born September 20th, 1988, in Dagestan, Russia. His father was his coach, trained him his entire life. Khabib is by far one of the greatest fighters of all time. I'd put him up there with Mike Tyson in the ball. I would say that I think we all would love to see Khabib come back. And uh, I'd honestly like to see him take on Cosmo. Shemai, I, I, I really don't like Shemai. But uh, actually, something um, I seen on YouTube not too long ago. It was, uh, I think it was Andrew Tate said it, which I don't agree with his, the way he talks and I don't agree with his view on women and everything like that just uh so he said about Khabib well how Khabib is you know strict Muslim and that's why he, you know he's right though I mean uh no matter Muslim or Christian what it is God he prays all day it's training God training God pray God training I mean everyone God you ask God God will you know you will receive so I mean it's not a surprise that Khabib is an animal in the cage and you know honestly I can't, I can't wait to see how his uh his actual you know his stuff's going with the like the eagle fighting circuit and I see that he's still he's uh training Islam which you know I'm hoping Islam wins this next fight I you know with a coach like Khabib how could you you know lose so that would be a lot of pressure though having Khabib as a coach I like to go back to uh, the Khabib and Connor fight. Now, Khabib's just so humble, you know. And then you got Connor, cocky, cocky, cocky motherfucker. I, I liked Connor McGregor before uh, I seen this video. As a fellow Irishman, I'm very ashamed in him. And, you know, I would say I'd love to see them two fight again. But, I mean, Khabib would smash with McGregor, even with McGregor all steroids up like he looks like right now. Which I wish I could have a picture of pull up. I'm sure we've all, see, we've all seen it on the internet recently. McGregor looks like he's jacked out of his mind on steroids. It's ridiculous. There's my kitty cat just jumped up here, Enzo. The amazing kitty. My, my fiance, uh, was a, is a big wrestling fan, so she named him after wrestler Enzo. So we're gonna name our next uh, cat Khabib. Next boy cat will be Khabib, oh boy. He's a very good cat, big cat though, he's like 20 pounds. Amazing kitty. But uh, yeah, back to Khabib, I would say. Now I'm sad to see that he retired when he did, but you know what? I, I could get it, it's hard for him to go back in there without his father. Very emotional ending, very professional on uh, Justin. Justin embracing Khabib like that was very, very professional, and I liked that. Um, that's what I like to see in this sport. You know, my son, my son's three belts away from becoming a black belt karate, and, and now he's just starting a wrestling team this year. He, he wants to fight UFC, and uh, I'm going to support his decision, you know. And, uh, you know, if you think it, speak it, act it, it will happen, you know. So I'm hoping uh, to make him the youngest UFC champion in the world. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's still got some time to go. He's only 13. But like I said, he's already three belts away on that black belt. He's been doing it most of his life. Um, I mean, you get him in jiu-jitsu next and stuff like that. But, again, you know, the wrestling was good because uh, I'm happy he's getting into wrestling. Like, what could, could be wrestling his whole life, wrestling bears. Um, I've been wrestling with my boy since he was little, too. You know, I've always liked wrestling. And getting into more classes of different martial arts to try to help him, too. I'm going to coach him. Hopefully, he'll never be as good as a coach as Khabib's father, but hopefully I'll be a good coach. And uh, go from there. Everyone, I hope you like my video. And uh, hit that subscribe button. And have a good night. God bless you all.